All right, I'm Stephanie Homer. I am the AVP of Customer Success, as John had mentioned, and I am going to be talking about a use case a scenario for geofencing using a personal level data. So everybody has probably heard the real estate saying location, 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 right? Pretty common industry term. Um, that is very relevant in real estate, um, but it's not only relevant in real estate, it's also becoming more and more prominent among marketers who want to connect with their customers whenever and wherever they may be. And geofencing really allows businesses to leverage their strong points to really enhance customer experiences as well as really boost their revenues. So today I'm going to be walking through a uh, live case example of Blink Fitness. And going into this, we knew a few things about them. One, they wanted to uh, really increase their membership across their local gyms that are in the New York area. And we found out that 85% of their members live within a one mile radius. Makes sense, right? Nobody really wants to go to the gym farther than a mile, at least not myself. <laughs> Um, they, we also found out, because they are in the New York and surrounding areas, that majority of these members commute. Also makes sense. <laughs> and those people, um, we found out, were mobile ads were actually more effective when members are in a mobile browsing session. Also makes sense, right? People who are engaged on their mobile device, more likely those mobile ads are going to be very effective. So. Um, knowing all of this information, we then mapped, can everybody, let's see, go to the live example. All right, so we then mapped uh, where these Blink location or Blink fitness locations were. And so you can see them, these orange dots, pretty much around the New York and surrounding areas. What was really neat about this is um, we knew from the three uh, items that I had mentioned that these people uh, would pretty much be dominantly in a one mile radius of these different fitness locations, right? So we were able to pinpoint a mile radius around each of the Blink Fitness locations. The thing that we did next is we took Blink Fitness CRM data and geocoded it and we used a variety of spatial uh, census and tapestry data in order to actually classify where majority of these members um, were or who they were. And we then mapped where these people fell. And we found that 90% of these members fell within three categories, three tapestry segments. And I don't know if you can all read that, but uh, we have urban melting pot, city strivers, and high-rise renters. And so those colors basically here are representative of those three different segments. And we were even able to take it at a very, very granular view. And I'm just gonna kind of zoom in a little bit more. So you're actually able to see, we were able to come at a one block radius of all of these different tapestry segments. We also knew that these members were commuters, right? So we layered a, another segment, bus routes, over these different dominant tapestry segments. And we even narrowed it a little bit further um, to actually showcase where these tapestry variables, tapestry segments were within a one mile radius and we intersected those bus lines. So we actually knew where to pinpoint mobile ads to be most effective to the right target, to the right people, the right place, and the right time. And so we were able to actually help Blink Fitness push their mobile ads across these bus intersected commuters um, that were very relevant and effective uh, for their to increase um, gym, gym members. So um, I actually will have a little booth over here a little bit later where you can um, walk by and I can actually show you how this is going to be relevant for each and, each and everyone's individual business needs. Um, but that is the example of Blink Fitness. <laughs> 